Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Star Child Tarot. Welcome, I hope you enjoy my content. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you all for your love and support. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. It really helps my channel grow. As I notice, there are a lot of people watching that don't actually subscribe. So that would be great if you, if you did. Um, so today we are looking at the astrology for March for all the signs and we're going to start today with Pisces so check out your Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus so we're going to look at your message that you need for March and with March I will probably do my love readings but this is just a general reading okay but obviously sometimes love comes out love messages come out so for the highest light and love of Pisces what do they need to know for March what do they need to know for March for the highest light and love of Pisces got the chariot ace of wands ace of coins and the four four of co uh, four of air four of swords energy So why is the chariot there? And the deck I'm using is the Tarot Favol, if you're interested. It's a beautiful deck, I love it. Got the Knight of Wands. Three of Wands. Ten of Swords. Night of Butterflies. Love this deck. So yeah, we've got the Chariot clarified by the Knight of Wands energy. So there's movement forward. This could be somebody coming towards you. It could be a fire sign. Um, a, a younger masculine energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And we've got Ace of Wands, a, a brand new passionate beginning. Clarified by the Three of Wands. So to me that talks about divine timing. And then we've got the Ace of Coins, clarified by the Ten of Swords. So it feels like there's anxiety. It feels like this person, somebody wants a new beginning with you, but there's anxiety around with that Ten of Swords. But the Ten of Swords is the end of a cycle. So I feel they're going to overcome that anxiety. And we've got the Four, four of Air, which is a time of like, um, healing rest recuperation so this person could be doing this right now and it's clarified by the knight of swords energy okay so we've got air energy aquarius libra gemini and fire energy so it could be somebody that has air and fire or this is two two different people this is different people watching this um so we're going to go a bit deeper so again why is the chariot there Wow, we've got the lovers. So this person is feeling this soulmate connection with you. I feel this is mutual. You're both feeling that. Okay, this is a soulmate. Okay, this could be somebody you've known in a past life. Why is the ace of wands there? We've got five of coins. So I feel there was disappointment. Maybe something didn't actually get off to a... Didn't actually get started. There was passion there. But the five of coins talks about a lack, a, a disappointment around it. Okay, so it is, you know, clarified by the divine timing. So the timing was off. Maybe when you met this person, the timing was off. So why is the ace of coins there? We've got the two of roses. So there is a love. This is mutual love. Okay, this is mutual love here. And this person, I feel, or this could be you as well. You, you know, you're you're resting, you're recharging, you're taking time out. And we've got the six of coins. So coming into balance, you know, doing that inner work, coming into balance in your own energies. So why is the Knight of Wands there? Uh... 
we've got ten of wands so yeah there's been a lot going on for this person whoever that is okay they've had a lot to deal with obstacles um a lot of burdens uh, a lot of things may be stopping them from coming forward but again the 10 is the end so whatever this pit this was you could have been in separation from this person i feel it's coming to an end and it's clarified there with that divine timing and we got the three of cut three of air three of air energy so there was heartbreak around this okay there was a heartbreak situation why is the three of wands there We've got the star. So, yeah, there's been healing. Definitely confirming that. There's been healing on, around this. And I feel that you are, you know, this person sees you as their wish fulfillment. Okay, they're, they're manifesting this. And they're coming out of something with the Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords energy. They're coming out of that. Yeah, we've got the Seven of Cups. So there was confusion. They weren't clear in their mind. They had a lot of other things going on, okay? So why is the Knight of Air there? We've got the High Priest there. So I feel that it's about tapping into your intuition. And I feel this person is tapping into their intuition as well. And, you know, you're both feeling this pull because you're soulmates. You're feeling this pull back to each other. And we've got the magician energy. So manifesting, I feel that you're both doing that. Manifesting each other and we've got the fool energy. So both wanting to take a leap of faith, wanting that new beginning here. What else can you tell us? Yeah, we've got Queen of Wands here as well. So we've got the King and Queen of Wands. So, you know, counterpart energy, you're a match energetically. Once you're a match with this person, once you've done that healing and done that work to balance yourself out, I feel that's when you can come together. And you're very attractive if you're the feminine. You're very sexy. Um, you're passionate. You're driven. You know, you, you go after what you want as well. And we've got the King of Flowers, King of Roses, King of Cups energy. So somebody wants to offer love. Okay, so you, again, for some of you, it could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I feel it's somebody that's really in touch with their emotions, with their feelings. And wanting to offer that. Okay, wanting to offer love. Anything else you can tell us? Anything else you can tell us? Anything else? Yeah, we've got the Hierophant. So I feel that you both had to do work on yourself, that spiritual work. But you're both looking for something solid. You're both looking for commitment here, I feel. Okay, let's get some um, of my life lessons messages. What else does Pisces need to know? What else does Pisces need to know right now? For March. So it's telling you to protect your aura and energy with a cloak of protection. Okay, so do some cleansing rituals around yourself. Got a change of heart, change of mind. So this could be you or this could be that person coming towards you. Something new is just dating in your life. So it's like the egg is going to hatch fairly soon, okay? And someone reaches out by phone, it could be unexpected. So yeah, you may not expect to hear from this person again, okay? But it looks like they are going to reach out. We've got soul contract. So yeah, as I said, there's a soul connection here. So let's get some final guidance. I'm going to ask the angels, what does Pisces need to know for March? Yeah, we've got recovery. 
So I feel this is you and that person. You've been in recovery. You've been, you know, looking after yourself, looking after number one. And then once you are feeling better, we've got an opportunity coming in. So there is an opportunity, I feel, um, for things to change. And it says within the next few weeks. Okay. So it could it could happen within March for some of you. Okay. I'm going to leave it there. Love and blessings. Take care.